Anyway, this is actually probably one of the hardest fairies to collect right here. Um, I, I never actually did it this way. I just sort of cheesed it with the Zora, but, uh... See the pot down there in the center of the thingy? Yeah, you break that and it has the numbered stray fairy in it. Also, I believe one of these barrels up at the top of the room, not on this area, oh wait, yes, maybe on this area, has a stray fairy in it too. I can't remember this one for sure, I might be thinking of another room or... Nope! Stray fairy number two, and yeah, another weird thing about this dungeon is it has very few doors, it only has one small key, and naturally one boss key. And uh, the rest of the rooms are through transitions in this main room, which is very intimidating the first time you see it, but it's actually, I think it's simpler to navigate. I found it simpler to navigate the first time through than I found Snowhead to navigate the first time through for whatever that's worth. I do like the aesthetics of this dungeon a lot, though. It's cool. It, like, harkens back to the Water Temple with its disorientingness, but I like it better. And by Water Temple, I mean the one in Ocarina Time that's, like, infamous for being too confusing. And really more than confusing, it was just hard to find a couple of the keys, I think. And then it was just a hassle to get around in. I thought the Forest Temple was more confusing to navigate, but that was, like, the first adult... Yes, it was the, the first adult Link temple was the first adult Link temple I ever did. I don't know why, that just confused me a lot more than... Other temples, really not important in this game, but felt like I should say my thoughts on the matter since I'm not exactly doing the most amazing stuff right here. There's a fairy in one of those pots, I believe, and I can't reach those pots yet. Yet. And here's the dungeon map right here. I shall be picking that up momentarily. And yes, there's another fairy right there, so let's get that coming over to us while we open up the chest. <laughs> Missed. Can't get me while I'm in a cutscene, fairy. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a bit... That's the only cross-dressing mask for whatever that's worth. Uh... No, wait. Nope, nothing else in this room. Pressing wrong buttons all the time. So, yeah, there's some dead hand-looking guys here. They actually... Rem I knew the things in the underwear and Super Paper Mario reminded me of something, I think they reminded me of them anyway. A bunch of bio Babas. these are still pretty much the coolest enemies, although I sort of tore through them right there. Uh, uh, not much to say. Just trying to kill this guy. Sort of slow with the hook shot, and you can't even kill them. I like how they grow eyes there. I think that form is just, I like it too much, I don't know why. And I like the noises they make and how they scuttle around and stuff. Rah. And they sort of run in random directions sometimes, which I find adorable. I kind of like plant monsters too much. Um, well, for what, what it's worth, the grass type in Pokemon is too boring. They need... I don't even know what they need to do, but they I don't like them as much as I like piranha plants and stuff. Maybe I just like carnivorous plants, that actually might be the case. I totally want a pet Venus flytrap, but I don't think it grows in this area, and I'm too lazy to have a pet that isn't a cat. Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff in this room. And I mean a lot of interesting stuff. It has the boss key over there, it has the compass, that away. It also has the stray fairy that might have given me the most trouble just because I was confused by it. I sort of just dove in there as a Zora and hacked it, it's easier to get that way. That, I think that's a bomb chew, is loud. Anyway, th I did this in my first run and it freaked me out because I was expecting it to just detonate. No, you pull the bomb chew towards you. Why would you do anything else? I mean, pairs of thought would be crazy if you didn't work that way. You got a blue disc. No, not a blue ray disc, but a blue disc. Oh, oh, oh. 
I make relevant internet based jokes even though I guess Blu-ray isn't technically the internet. Anyway, these dead hands are all easy here because they're all under... I love the noise they make so much, but um... A bio deco babas, but yeah, the... I don't remember what they're called there. We oh, they're so cute! I want one! Um, okay, getting distracted. Yeah, they're not really a pain here since you can Zora it up and Zora just dies. And that, if I am, unless I'm grossly mistaken, is the only small key in the dungeon. There is a key esque system they use for whatever. I don't know, that's sort of a weird way to describe it, but. Okay, dumped out back into the main room. Luckily, the way this is laid out, you can just sort of go through it the way you would intuitively want to just go through. Okay, that feels like I'm missing something. I thought there were a lot more ways you could go. That's weird. Yeah, I'm really feeling disoriented now. Maybe I'm doing it so much faster. I don't know. I can't remember. This might be one of the many rooms where there are really no stray fairies to speak of. What do you want, Tattle? Yeah, okay. That's a weird thought. I'm sure nothing will ever come of that. <laughs> Stepping on an Octorok. I mean, I've heard of being so hungry that I could ate an Octorok, the classic line from the Star Fox animated series. Huh. <sighs> But, these Octoroks are very annoying. They're always annoying when they don't just have to reappear in one place over and over. And I am stuck. I was like in a place where it didn't want to dump me back in the water, but I couldn't climb. It's a bit annoying. Dead old, dead old. I just realized, yeah, this is the reason there's like that glowing stuff at the bottom is because that's like the generator, that's where the water comes from. And now that I have the small key, I can go to the small door. I mean, what? Hmm, magic? Arrows. I wonder what kind of puzzle that we would be stuck if we couldn't have the supplies to beat it and therefore they had to put those there. Pearl Torch, that's the first time the yellow choo choo shows up in this game. It has arrows in it instead of magic, although I'm pretty sure they don't even always drop. Or maybe those do, but I recall red choo choo's not always dropping what was visible inside them. I don't know, I like them, but I sort of like the Twilight Princess and Wind Waker choo choo styles too. Anyway, hmm. There's a chest. I'm not sure how to activate it. The door locked. Actually, I was expecting a gecko here, so this confused me when I first saw it. 